Welcome back to series two of our NPS build video. So it's our Isuzu NPS truck that we are building to tour Australia in. Um, quite a bit has changed since the first video. I'll chuck a link up here if you haven't watched it. It is worth going to watch. Um, let's start with the blinding obvious. It's changed colour. What have we done, Andrew? Yeah, so um, we're going to wrap. Uber Graphics did it for us. Our um, branding guy designed it. I can't take the credit. And um, yeah, it's a giant sticker. We've done the roof, we've done everything. So I guess looks cool, bit of branding, sort of subtle branding and should protect the paint. So yeah, we yeah. weren't keen on the white. That was one of the things. I think we had a different color ordered and when yeah. we had the issues with delivery, we had to go white. Our caravan's white, we're probably gonna wrap it as well. So um, I don't know, something different. Want to stand out, well. but don't want to be a big Migaloo whale. Yeah, and also I guess for the pinstripes, it should um, hopefully remove them when we pull the wrap off to sell it. So. Cool. All right, next up we have got some front bar work. So this little bad boy was already on. Um, we have now got the cab it, bar work. That stuff. Yeah. Tell cool. us about it. Yeah. All right. So basically, this is one big piece that goes up and over. You probably can't see it from that angle, but that's the full roof rack. Um, so basically, I guess it's there for a lot of reasons. Looks cool. Gives us a place to mount um, stuff that we do need and stuff maybe we don't. Um, and we'll protect it, sort of pushing down bush tracks and so on. Um, I think I'm actually going to put some fold downs on these because I have been pushing through some bush tracks and these are a bit annoying. So we'll probably put some fold downs there. But um, yeah, we sort of put it on there it actually I reckon is the real cool bit makes it look good so it's all terrain have done yeah it? sorry yeah. these all are terrain. all terrain part of their roof cab package yeah so, yep. um, so it's got mounting for spotlights it's got mounting yeah. for two antennas um, yep. we'll explain those later on and then it is also rolls into the roof rack is that correct, yep. correct and that's yeah. set up for solar panels yep which solar panels so we got two 200 watt energy drive solar high voltage panels on there yeah cool. um, they're on the top yeah, sweet. Um, all right, we'll go into the lights because they are standing out as well. So what brand have we gone with on the lights? So they're all night armor. All of these frontal lights are night armor. Um, these light bars are their 22 inch black ops range, they call it. And that's sort of the dark tinting you'll see in them. Um, we just looked at 17,000 lumens or 1680. 7,000, oh sorry, 17,000. 17, lumens yep. on the light bars. Yep. And then um, these are the seven inch round spotlights. They've also got like a halo feature in them. <laughs> Um, around there and they're 7,000 each so pretty much can burn the pupils out of anything coming our way. Yeah sweet. So there's six of those, three light bars. I've got a feeling there's something down the side as well isn't there? Yeah okay. there's some other hardcore lights down the side. But... Cool all right so let's roll into the two GME aerials. Yep. What are they running? Why have we got two? So one's a UHF as you'd expect and the other one is for the self eye so we've got a self eye go mounted under the dash and um, for that so that's a mobile phone repeater mobile phone booster. booster. Takes yep. one bar of 3G, boosts it into 4G, so you can stream, yeah. email. Yeah, basically, work it just on the means road. that you're, rather than your tiny little aerial inside your phone, this is now our new phone aerial. So it um, should help us with some re reception. Um, cool. I don't know. We talked about the Sherpa winches um, in the last one. We didn't go into too much detail. Do you have anything to add on those? It's obviously Not really, they're like 70,000 pounds. They are wired up now. They probably wouldn't have been in the last video. Yeah. Um, so yeah, everything actually works these days. Um, yeah, 17,000 pounds, remote control, plug it in the front. Mm -hmm. They're wired off the air vent, the number plate, that'll be normal. Um, they are wired to the start batteries as normal. So they're 24 volt winches and yeah, they just do the thing. Hopefully we don't need them too much. Cool. Is there anything else on the front of it or are we going to move along? Not really, I don't think. Nothing that's changed. Um, that's about it. Cool. All right, let's go down the side. All right, we're down the side of the truck. You can see the wrap a bit more. This is what people call the road or the tent in our logo. Um, hard to see, I know, but that's the way we wanted it. Biggest thing that is the difference is the canopy is on the back. Talk about the canopy, Andrew. So it's 2.2 um, by 2.2. It was made by Extreme 8 Fabrications. He's just a local guy to us. Um, I reckon he smashed it out of the park. He's managed to match the colour with the all-terrain stuff. I'm pretty sure these weren't on in the last video as well. So that'll, that's the ladder kind of thing. But yeah, 2.2, 2.2. 
There is some stuff going on in there, but we can't show you yet. There's a few products in there that haven't even been released yet. We're trying to do something pretty wild on the electrics. But um, yeah, at the moment, she's just a big box. Big, um, open, massive box. You could sleep in there. Yeah, you, well, yep, you could definitely sleep in there. It's 2.2 long, hammock. so yep, yep. Um, it's great, I can fit a nipper board in it. Um, so oh, the plan is it's going to have a kitchen in there. Um, we're in the process of designing all of that. So that'll yep. be stage three. It'll be the full electrical fit out, kitchen, storage, where everything's fitting in, really, yeah, is the plan. Yep. Yep. Cool. So it's a big black box at the moment. Tinny top is going to go on. There's space. It's not a full height because there's space for rooftop tent, hopefully, tinny topper. I don't know. We're going to be bloody tall, basically. We can't fit anywhere now. We're not going to be able to fit anywhere. So that's kind of why I like the aerials because I reckon they're going to be about the top. Yeah, so okay. if I see Good the aerials point. go donga donga donga, then I reckon that means we're going to hit the, the tinny. Cool. All right, moving along, there's some lights on the top here, which is on the roof rack. Um, what are they? Why have we done them? So they're, they're go I'm going to do something cool with them. I haven't actually quite figured out how I'm going to switch it. But my intention is they're going to be like a scene light, so an all around floodlight that I'm going to have on motion sensor. Um, and so at night, we can just flick them on. if somebody or something um, starts hanging around the campsite all the lights should light up and hopefully will be a bit of a, a theft deterrent kind so of I'm thing. So I'm picturing, is. I don't know, wild animals, we're constantly up because there's lights going off all night. Yeah, who knows? That'll get we'll unplugged see. at some point. Like I but say. But we are going with red arc, we'll say that. So we're doing a full red arc in the yep. canopy, so it's going to be full TVMS. So when Andrew says we'll turn it on, we'll literally just click a button on the TVMS. Well, you leave me able to do it on your phone. On, do it from our phone when we forget mm. in bed. Perfect. Um, so a couple of hardcore lights. Let's talk about, you can't really see anything here, but the Airbag Man suspension. Yep. So run us through what suspension this truck has got quickly. Yeah, so basically it's got King Remote Res shocks all around and it's got the All-Terrain Warrior Parabolics. And then um, instead of bump stops, it's got the Airbag, S, Airbags, Airbag Man Airbags. Um, they are in cab controlled. And so I've got a switch panel up there on the dash and um, basically we can turn the compressor on, we can operate them up and down, and then we've incorporated, and that's what you can see here. Um, I've got a full Safety Dave tire pressure monitoring that I've also run on the airbag and also run on the caravan. So we'll it's show like you the screen. channel or something some, like that? Yeah, some ridiculous. So all the yeah. spares, everything's covered. Um, and so, yeah, you can see on the screen basically all the air and pressures throughout the entire sort of vehicle caravan setup. Um, when you are got a lot of weight, it's sort of you need to keep an eye on your tyre temperatures. That is sort of the the issue if you are running these heavy with big wheels. Um, if the tyres get too hot, so the the Safety Dave does pressure and temperature. Didn't know that. That's yeah, pretty it's pretty cool. cool. And it's actually really interesting when you're like bouncing heaps, the airbag temperature goes up. Fun fact. Sweet. Is there anything else down the side we've missed? Um, I guess like it's, now you got a good view of the solar panel setup. So yeah, there's two two hundreds up there, so four hundred watts in total. Um, and that's feeding down into the back, um, into the canopy, obviously. Um, and, and yeah, the, it's actually pretty cool because the, the panels sit down a bit of a fraction and you can run some straps over the top and I've actually had boards and stuff on the roof, so it works, works really well. Cool. Um, I don't know what else there is to see. Do you want to talk? We can just chuck some footage over the top. So um, canopy is three quarters. We've got the tray on the back. Yep. Um, so what's the plan with that? Spare wheels, that sort of stuff. Yeah, so the wheels are on the back. Um, I wanted that because I really wanted the ground clearance at the back. You sort of see these getting hung up on the spare wheel under the back a fair bit. Um, and we got a nice high tow bar on it. Um, and it also gives us two. And then, uh, I don't know, I'm just a tray guy. I, I can't have a ute without a tray. Um, so yeah, I just need it to throw wood in and just so it's still a ute and not like a wagon kind of thing, to be honest. So. Yeah, there's a bit of space there. I think it's there's probably only 600 long or something like that, but um, yeah, makes it feel like a ute again. Cool. All right, well, let's go have a look at what we have done inside the cab now. All right, guys, so we're now all three of us awkwardly in front in the front of the Isuzu truck. Um, let's start with the tint. We didn't cover that when we we're on the outside. We've had tint done on the four windows. Yep, and the back one. And the back um, one. Yep. Yeah. Possibly going to get a line. Still undecided about yeah, that one. Yeah, might do something there. Yeah, cool. Yep. Um, we'll start from the top and work our way down. You spoke about the Safety Dave tyre stuff outside, so let's go to that. Yep, so basically um, I've set it all up so that, oh, well, they're the temperature, so it's going through each one at the moment, you know, showing 75 in a spare. 
um, and the temperature and then you hit a button and when the caravan's attached it actually shows a caravan on the back and um, yeah that's everything so the middle row there is the airbags um, and then yeah it's um, got everything there so all in one spot it's kind of cool so we've got these on our shop I'll chuck a link up here if you want to um, purchase them they're like four eight and sixteens I think yeah, the, really the kits they come in they're yep. pretty cool from safety Dave the next thing safety Dave we have got is an added screen up here so how have you mounted these as well that's probably a good place. yeah well this one's just the windscreen sucko that it comes with um, it comes with a windscreen mount and then this one to be honest we've just made our own custom aluminium bracket um, and it just goes yeah it's it's replaced the rear vision mirror um, it's a seven inch screen it takes four cameras so I'm not quite sure. So there's two on the van, um, obviously one on the rear of the canopy now, and I don't know what we'll do with the extra one. It might have some inside the canopy or point something down or something. Um, yeah. Yeah, cool. Quite often people put them like rear of the van, side view van, and then yeah, pointing down yeah. somewhere on the and canopy tonight, or something. And tonight you can select the view so you can show two, so three, just four cameras. chuck it in reverse as well because you still get your normal the reverse. The VP will love that, yeah. From the, that's, where's that? On the, above the tongue sort yeah, of so, hitch. Yeah, so that's for the hitch for reversing So it. we've got the two reverse cameras at once. This screen here can be, can be a quad screen, so it can go to split of one, two, three, four inputs mm. all at once. Yeah. When your caravan's attached, it's not going to matter too much now. I probably should have um, done that. You, you do get sound through on the Safety Dave as well. Same thing. These are all available to buy on our shop. Shameless plug here, so I'll chuck a link up as well. Um, all right, let's keep on moving down the stereo system or the multimedia center whatever you want to call it yep absolute must because it's got apple carplay yep. i think that's like for us is the main thing we reason we change but talk about it what is it what model it's the alpine halo um and yeah it's yeah just apple carplay to be honest that's all i really use it for um uh, I'm a, my kids are spotify and that's about it yeah push so. a button hey siri send a text message to andrew james on my way i don't know it's all pretty sweet yep. you've got podcasts whatever you want we use spotify podcasts messages that sort yep. of thing um so there's just a button in the center there a little mic button uh, volume controls are on here it replaced the old stereo but it's obviously yep. sitting out from the dash as well so yep. super cool um andrew's got the quad lock case on his phone so it's just all mounted to the dash of the um truck so that way you don't get in trouble for using your phone while you're driving yeah. All right, UHF Aerial is next, or sorry, UHF is next up. What make model did we go with? Well, that's the XRS 370. Um, so that's the full Bluetoothy one that does everything. Uh, to be honest, it's got more features than I honestly have played with. Um, but it's kind of, I think the 390's just come out. So we might be getting a 390. Yes, we um, But that's the 370. So basically the box is hidden under the dash. Yep. Um, it has a speaker in it as Correct. well as this one here. So really good over truck noise because you're getting extra um, noise, <laughs> loudness yeah. sort of coming through from it. It then comes with a little mount that you sticky onto wherever you want on the dash, which is just then magnetic. So I can just click that on. Um, it's out of the way. You can unplug it. We probably won't ever, but they're great for in um, any other cars. You can just have a little, uh, I call it like a tel old telephone or networking cable. RJ45 pass through. That thing. Um, unplug it, put it in your center console when you're not using it. Um, so they're super sweet. Um, same thing on our shop. I'll chuck a link as well to that up here. Next up is the Red Arc Topro Elite. Yep. Is it a 24 volt or they is it 12 are. volt? They're all. So it's running at 24 volts, but yep. the Elite is um, 12 slash 24. 12 24. So it's just, yep. yep. It's cool. Cool. I think we've done enough videos on Topros. To yeah, I'll link that. a video up here of to why we use and love the Red Arc Topro Elite. They are yep. amazing. Um, coming across, let, oh, let's talk about sound deadening. So we'll yeah. chuck some footage over the top of this of the guys installing the sound deadening. Um, it was a pretty massive job. Everything in cab had to be pulled out. Seats, roof. Everything. So yeah. you basically strip it back. Um, you leave the dashboard in, but that's it. Everything else comes out. Full car builders, three stage one um so and now i'm touching my microphone so sorry guys um yeah full car builders three stage and it makes such a difference to the point of the media guy when we we're driving here said wow it's um a lot harder than a patrol and anything that's better than a patrol i love it so why is it a three stage explain that oh there's all different products so we kind of got you got a roof lining product that's a, like a sticky stuff um you've got a um like the full tar style stuff that you stick on first on the floor and then over the top of that in the front section we've got like a full waterproof like full I think 
oh, I can't remember the name of it, but um, there's different multi different products all the way through. There's another product for the back wall, so I think there's five different products on this thing okay. um, throughout for different places. Cool. Um, next up, so all right, let's cover up. That was quite a considerable time. It was probably a week solid, yeah. full time, like yeah, 40, so 50 hours to get that done. It's a big job. So it is. It actually seems really easy um, and it, it's not technically challenging at all, but um, it took a while. It took a lot longer than I expected. Uh, we've and done it's a, sharp. There was a, quite a few cut fingers yeah, around it's the place. all like a sharp aluminium <laughs> finish on it. Um, but yeah, it, it was bigger than I thought. We've done a few since and, and we've definitely got it quicker, but your first one, you're definitely not doing a full... I got friends who thought they were going to do it in a weekend. And I think they managed to get the back section done in a weekend. So, um, cool. yeah, it's bigger than you think. In-cab airbag controls we talked about before. Where are they? Yeah, so I've sort of repul repurposed something. Um, this is a, like a Hulk switching um, panel, really designed for spotlights, but you can momentary switch it. So um, basically just up, down, front, left, right, and rears. Um, so, so is it all eight? Yep. Yeah, so cool. all eight switches, yeah, up, down on each airbag. And then again, that's monitored via that. And um, yeah, okay, I'll tell you what one bit of it. We're going to have the TVMS screen here. Um, and so that's going to be controlling the compressor for the airbags kind of thing. But so, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yep. Um, so I've got solenoids. Um, that sort of goes back to some airbag man solenoids that I've got mounted up underneath the tray kind of thing, which runs off the compressor that's in the canopy. Cool. Um, the next one, Self I Go, is mounted somewhere in here. Yeah, so it's pretty, um, it, you'll just have to believe us there is one. Um, it is right up underneath the dash. There's actually a really nice mounting plate in behind here that we managed to mount a lot of things on. Um, again, it's switched via TVMS. Um, and yeah, you turn it on and your app starts showing you it's there. So other than that, so it's to um, tucked away yep. along with the UHF sort of. I, don't know. I like I like a clean dash. I don't like an, a cluttered dash. I don't like a billion switches and things. So um, everything's sort of up there. And these are a very 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 quick dash to get apart. So if there ever was an issue, which I'm sure there won't, because of my brilliant quality work, um, you do just literally grab this and pop it off, and everything's accessible. Cool. And I think then the final thing we're going to cover off on is the center console here and the suspension seats. Yep. So we were. I'm only five foot two and I'm quite short in the legs. So we were told by All Terrain, I went and sat in one and tested that I could actually reach the pedals and clutch and that sort of thing. Um, I did need a bit of adjustment with the steering wheel and that sort of thing to get it right, but we have gone ahead with it as far as driving um, and passenger seats. So tell yep. us about them. What brand are they? Why? What do they do? So the Stratos seats, um, they're like a captain's chair. You got a little armrest, which is pretty cool, which is adjustable. And then they got the, um, Oh, something. You got that little lumbar support squishy thing, so that's pretty cool. Um, full bouncy, and yeah, with the with the suspension we got, with the wheels we've got, and with the seats, it's actually a really nice ride. Um, it definitely is not like when they come out new, where you're bouncing your brain in around in your skull. It's quite a smooth ride. So they replaced the double seat in the front here on the sort of non-driver side. Uh, you, so you get a single seat um, and then this is the all-terrain custom center console. So it's got yep. two cup holders inbuilt in it. Push a little button, open it up. You've got a hot bit of storage in there, um, which is groovy. Um, I don't know, what else do you add on that? I guess that's it. Um, they, yeah, so the, the full engine cover actually gets replaced with a custom all-terrain warrior plate. Um, so it's a bit of a saga and and obviously now we've gone from a seven seater to a six seater so that was part of the engineering we had to go through yeah so i had to get all signed off by an engineer separate. yeah it's got a yeah. lot of blue plates now yeah yeah cool cool so i think that's everything for inside the cab outside um can you think of anything else andrew not really i think the only change moving forward yeah we're going to put the red arc tvms screen here and that will control a lot more but to look at i don't think we're going to change much oh rear aircon oh yeah Big so one. that's that's Stage next. Three. I've been um, undecided what to do because I wanted to figure out the back seating whether we were going to put buckets in for the kids or, or anything. So um, there's a bit of the rear aircon, so the standard one everybody uses goes under the bench seat, and so that then counts our bucket seats. So we're, we're going to do something there. I'm not quite sure which kit we're still negotiating on that one. Speakers. We didn't talk about speakers. Yeah, so uh, it's got some doof -doofs. It's, yeah, it's got, um, I don't even know. So I think they're the R-type Alpines all around um, in all four doors, and that's pretty much it. I'm not a massive Duff Duff guy. 
we might whack a subwoofer under the seat when we decide what we're going to do with the seat, so I'm, I'm not really sure on that. I'm sort of aircon first, comfy kids second, and doof doof's kind of the third, the third thing. Alrighty. Sweet. Yeah, cool. All right, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Stage three of the build video will be coming soon. It is going to be the full canopy fit out, the kitchen, all the electrical stuff, really all the good stuff that I like that makes traveling on the road full time super easy. If you want to check out the build video series on this, click up here and YouTube thinks that you should watch this one down here.